All right, y'all. So I know it's crazy to be um, introducing the video like this, but it is what it is. Say hi to the celery. Fallon is making me um, some chicken pot pies, y'all. And y'all know how I feel about chicken pot pies. Let's see if her chicken pot pies are better than KFC. And I'm never tell done how many time. times you made a chicken pot pie. Zero. Zero time. I feel like I can do it. Okay. It doesn't seem... It's and I'm like cutting like some chicken. corners, you guys. I ain't gonna lie. I yeah. bought the rotisserie chicken from Costco. Because I was I not about to... chicken. Oh, did you? Yeah. Oh. So this is about four celery organic sticks. And I say that because, you know, non-organic, they're really huge. So I decided to use four of these. I'm going... I know it's going to be too much filling, but maybe she might want another one another day I'm gonna roughly chop this I'm not a great chopper so don't talk about me or do it I don't care. two garlic cloves because who don't like fresh garlic maybe some people I, I do. you too I, like I do I should have put this in the food processor I don't think I'm gonna use this whole onion so I'm just gonna start with half. I'm gonna use the bigger half though. Ah. Drizzle some olive oil. I don't know how much, I guess about that much. Oh, milk about I think that was four tablespoons of butter throw in the onions and celery I'm turn it up a little higher so about I guess what is it six I'm so excited baby <laughs> oh my god you guys i am stirring this until Golden. it's a little translucent yes there we go i turned the heat level up to six so we're gonna let that cook for a little bit better than bouillon so i don't have chicken broth or any of that so I'm just gonna use, I guess that much. <laughs> and then I need to add some water to this. Be right back. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and pour this in here because I need this thing. Here's the chicken, the rotisserie chicken that I already had shredded up by hand. I'm gonna add that. Mix that all up. What? I'm gonna go ahead and toss in the garlic now. That. Frozen peas and carrot. I don't know how much I'm gonna add. I guess, let's look. I eyeball a lot of things. Is that a good pea to carrot ratio? It looks like it is to me. It looks like more damn peas and carrots. It's only because this is carrots with Julian's. That looks about good enough, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, heavy cream. I saw a lot of recipes that use like cream of mushroom, the can I, mm -mm. I don't eat that type of stuff. about one cup of heavy cream. I'm gonna season it at the end once I put everything up in there. Flour. Is that too much? <laughs> Add some pepper. Some garlic. Some of this one. Let's see. I'm not 
what the hey i'm pretty sure it needs some salt i was just gonna let me just start there let me see come on now so i'm gonna let this i guess simmer for a little bit just don't put no smoked paprika in there oh too late it's delicious by the way it is Okay, you guys, so I'm gonna bake them in these cute little ceramic bowls. Here is the pie crust that I bought. I had to let it get to room temperature according to the instructions. And I'm using pastry puff to cover the top. All right, well, apparently I'm supposed to unroll. I hope this is enough. It will be. Grab this cute little knife here. How to, ooh, look at that. I'm gonna try to like spread it as much as I can like this. I'm also going to brush with a little butter, melted butter, cause why not? All up in that thing. Like so, like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that to all of these. So next, we're going to fill these bad boys up. How much am I supposed to put in here? Fill it all the way up? I guess so, I don't know. Why not? Um, I read that it's best when, when dealing with, I don't know if this is all dough, but when dealing with um, pastry puff to let the filling cool a little bit because the heat will, uh, I guess, heat up the butter in the pastry puff and kind of make it, not puff i guess as much i don't know how true that is because like i said i don't bake but i believe them Top. I've never dealt with pastry puffs in it, ever. Oh, damn, Gina. Okay. I feel like I should, like, cut this in half. On TikTok, this guy, he didn't use butter to brush the top. He used the heavy cream to brush the top. So I don't know. I'm gonna give it a try. If this don't work, I'm, I'm gonna sue him. All right. So now that that is done, now we're gonna put these in the oven um, at 350. Here it is, I'm gonna put these in for 20 minutes and I'll come back with the finished product. See ya. Hey y'all, this is the final product. She laughed. Because look. Ooh, look at this y'all, it looks, what is this, a donut? <laughs> it's a, uh, what are they called? Cheese Danish. Let's hear the crisp. Tasha, your dinner's ready. She 
get on my nerves. Can we put some uh egg. chocolate girl eggs on her? What's up, y'all? I'm Tasha P, but y'all can call me Tasha. If this is your first time here and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. If you've been here before, welcome back. It's always a pleasure to have you beautiful ladies and the one or two beautiful gentlemen that are here. Y'all see what Fallon made? Look. I'm ready to eat it too. I ain't got to say, I've never had a homemade chicken pot pie. Let me make sure. I've never had a homemade chicken pot pie. I love chicken pot pies. The best chicken pot pie I've ever had is KFC. So... Y'all should, y'all should be inside of my mouth right now. Just don't bite that one. <laughs> Definitely not. Because it's so wet and watering right now. I can't wait. This is her first time making it. I don't care. I know it's good too. Y'all can have the first bite. Oh, thumbnail. This is hot. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, this tastes like a real chicken pot pie, but it's seasoned a little better. Mm. Okay, thumbnail, y'all. Get you some. And you know what I really love about it? It's full of meat. It's full of meat. Oh, oh. Oh no, I can't enjoy this if it's too hot. Oh my god, this shit good. It is good, good. Good, good. The amount of pepper that was used is perfect. Thirsty too. And that was 100% juice, even though I shouldn't be drinking that. What was I watching earlier? What happened? Something happened in the news. I know OJ died. Rest in peace to OJ. I know a lot of people, well, some people, well, the world has mixed. There are mixed emotions all around. Some people are happy, I think. I don't know. I didn't see anybody happy, but, you know, people are making jokes. Sukiana posted OJ um, riding his Bronco in heaven with the police behind him. So that was interesting. <laughs> um, I love Sukiana, y'all. I just want to tell y'all that. Now, I know that her music is raw and nasty and raunchy, but some people actually sell. A lot of people do. Some people give it away for free. So for her to sing about it and say that she's doing it and introducing the people to the world, I think that's her business. You know, don't judge her. And she is Scorpio. So we're going to leave that alone. But there was. Give me a second. Mm. That's really good. So, it was a student. There is a student, white girl, from Indiana University who decided to go online. I don't know why she did that, y'all, but I guess that's how, that's how she felt. She went online. You know, Beyonce had her little country album. Be not little, but y'all know what I'm saying. Beyonce had a little country album, you know, and representing for country folks. She's from the country. Her family is, at least. And so, here we go. People are mad, okay? Mm. Mm. I'm going to get some hot sauce. Thank you, Miss Netta. Okay, so... Um, the girl's name, we're just going to call her Asa, okay? Because that's pretty much what her name is, Asa. So she made Asa herself, okay? First thing she said was, quote, unquote. Well, I ain't going to quote, unquote, because I'm not sure exactly what she said, but she pretty much said, if you black, mm. Mm. Bomb. if you black, you ain't country. I'm not exactly sure what she meant, but I'm going to continue to tell you what else she said. Y'all 
was picking, y'all wasn't planting. You were slaves, basically. And why she said that, I didn't hear an apology or anything, so I didn't think I really should have done that before, but maybe we can go look it up and find out, and I can talk about it later. Actually, I'll probably talk about it tonight on live. That's what I'm going to do. We're going to talk about it tonight on live. So, unfortunately, watch the live from yesterday because I'm going to leave it up. So, to me personally, I'm going to tell y'all the truth. I'm very... Not, not every black person is. I don't even know how to say this, but I'm going to say this. I love everybody, okay? I do. I love everyone. But there's a special place in my heart for different kind of people. There's a special place in my heart for black people. There's a special place in my heart for black women, for black men, for women, for children. I know the struggle and I've seen so many people disrespect black people for absolutely no reason because of their blackness. I see, I know people get disrespected all the time. I get that, but you're not getting disrespected because you're of your skin color. That's so strange to me. I'm not talking about some of you. Yes, some of you are. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about what I'm talking about. I'm talking about black people in general get treated like we are monsters. Do I look like a monster to y'all? Does my blackness make me seem or look like a monster? I'm not a monster. And I know a lot of black people and none of them are monsters. None, not one, not one of them that I know. And I know other people, they ain't monsters either, different colors or whatever. But my point is, why are y'all, why are you so mad, Asa? She got on there with a chip on her shoulder. She got on there like she was angry, kind of. Why are you angry that Beyonce, what they say, why is she get on Beyonce's internet? Why are you angry that Beyonce came out with a country album? You wasn't coming out with no country album? Talking about they was picking. You picking, you in school for nursing. The nurses don't even want you. And I'm sorry to say that if you think you're so high and mighty, you're going to school for nursing. Go to school to make $800,000 a year since you're so whatever. Nurses make what, 100, 200? You act like you all that with your, you ain't. See, that's why I don't need to do this, y'all. Because I get irritated. But let me eat. I don't want the nurses to get offended. But my point is, You act like you're doing something special, like you're doing something extraordinary. Mm -hmm. mm. I'm smacking fighting. This hot sauce in here is really good. I'm going to try this ghost pepper. It's going to kill me. Asa was probably raised to think all those things. That's why she didn't even. Oh, and wait, why they let her know, the internet let her know that country music came from African-Americans. You know, country music came from the slaves who were singing hymns. And your great, 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 great grandpa, grandma, like you said uh, about her uh, or about black people. You said our great grandparents came from the, or were raised in the country, you guess. And they basically didn't do nothing. You said that they were picking while I guess your people were planting. But if there weren't, People to steal country music from there wouldn't even be country music because y'all showing the fuck couldn't make it. And I'm just saying, you stole it. You stole the kids. You stole the wives. You stole the souls, the spirits, and not even of everybody because you didn't break them. And you continue to do it for for many many years, and you still do it. You today, Asa are a product of that trash devil environment. You are a product and I feel bad for you because you, you'll you never know what freedom is. You'll never know what freedom is because you're mad at somebody for nothing. You're mad at your own skin color. You have to be because why are you mad at somebody? Why are you telling black people that they can't have country music when we the motherfuckers that made it, dummy? You didn't even know that. You're so uneducated. So how are you in college? And that's why the nurses don't even want you. Don't even want you, Asa. All right, I didn't believe her alone because I'm sure she's being harassed enough. And I don't want to be a part of uh, harassing anybody. I just want somebody like her to be somewhere else. You don't deserve to live here. You deserve to live. You deserve to live somewhere where you want to be. With people like you. 
And ain't nothing wrong with that. Go find the people like you. I'm sure it's some places. And go find another job. Go find another occupation because um, the internet, internet going to eat you up. You know? There is a bunch of videos about you going around right now, Asa. Asa. And they see your face. You're young. You could have kept that to yourself. It's good that you came out with it so now people can locate you and know not to hire you. Know not to hire you to take care of their grandma or take care of, you know, anybody that is not doing well. But, mm. so, I advise you, go over to McDonald's. But remember, you can't plant. You just picking. You just picking the burgers. You just flipping the fries. I'm sorry. You just flipping the burgers. You just flicking the fries. Um, what else? Make sure you put the cheese on there, right? Asa, because you're you're actually a bad person. I'll say that. I don't care if you was raised to believe whatever. You're a bad person. I'm gonna tell y'all something. One day. My father, I'm going to start telling you guys stuff, and I don't care. My dad told me to call my sister Darkie. My father um, was white and black, but looked, to me he looked Mexican or something. Um, he didn't admit that he was, he, told, he said that he was 100% Indian. He never admitted to being white, he never admitted to being black. And you couldn't tell, he was kind of racially ambiguous. So... My sister had a different dad. You know, her dad is brown skin. My sister, y'all met her, she's brown skin. My dad told me to call her darky. Never did, of course. But my point is, I was raised in an environment that was kind of like biased. I don't, I don't know if my dad was racist or not, but I know that one time, um, a supremacist who lived in our building, everybody knew of him. He was at my door one day. And I was walking out the door and he, the guy was like, is that your kid? My dad was like, yeah, you know. Um, and also my dad had a hat that had, that had the Confederate Confederate flag. Now, all my, a lot of my, most of my dad's friends were black or Mexican. He had other friends too, but it was, it was mostly black and Mexicans and then some, some white friends. He never acted any kind of way. He never said anything else, but he did. He called my mom the N-word before. So... I'm saying all that to say, as a young child, I watched in my household. I never actually experienced it outside, but I watched, I mean too much, in my household, uh, colorism. I'll say that, colorism. Even even in at my grandma's house, not from my grandma, but from a great aunt, you know? Um, and other people in, in my, in a circle when I was, when I was younger and they were older people, I just remember some things that I think were inappropriate and, and didn't make sense. And it was just like, this comes from slavery. This comes from thinking that the lighter you are, you know, the better you are when it wasn't, it's not that it's the lighter you were, the, you know, they did, they, they felt however they felt, but that's them. Why are we still doing that today? Um, I know I went all off su subject cause we were talking about Asa, but, um, I've always despised racism and people who think they're better than somebody else because they're lighter or because they're not black. It's crazy to me how how we are hated so much and we don't even be doing shit. We do just as much as everybody else. That's it. We do just as much as anybody else. It's it's crazy to me. It is crazy to me. But it's been like this for hundreds of years. Um, and I don't know if it's going to change. I don't even care. Hate me. Hate me all day because I hate you too. How about that? I hate you too. I'll do you just like I did this pie. Well, that's probably what you. I ain't doing you like I did this pie. But this pie is so good, y'all. I think I'm about to. Oh, I shouldn't even. You know what? Wait. Come on. This, I feel like this is a mess up video. But that's okay, y'all used to the 
All right, it's 7.40. I'm about to go live because I know it's 9. 10.40 in New York and in Miami. And I told Pretty G that I was going live, so going live right after I eat this piece. Look at this, y'all. This was the best pot pie I've ever had in my life. I ain't gonna lie. No cap. Take a bite. Mm. Oh, shite. It's hot. Let me just let me just do this and then I'll stop eating. I want to try to eat more meat, you guys, and less everything else. Because I'm getting buff. I'm getting buff on y'all. Okay. Come June, July, Angela Bassett, hopefully. <clears throat> so hot. Mm. Quote of the day, hold on. All right, this is something I agree with and I have felt this way since I was a child. We are here to add what we can to life not to get what we can from life. That's from William Osler. What that means to me, it can mean whatever it means to y'all, but what it means to me is a life of servitude. Um, and that's not for everybody, but some people actually feel good being uh, of service to people. I feel like I was here to serve. <clears throat> and I'm not saying that I do it. I'm not saying that I always do it. I'm not saying that I even know my whole entire purpose, but... What I do know is that I want to leave here having helped some people and changed some lives because I think I needed it when I was younger and I want to be that for somebody, more than just somebody. And I want people around me who want the same thing. I think if we work together, we can, we can do something like that. If we work together, we can make... I know this sounds cliche, but we can make the world a better place, period. Michael Jackson said it, I think. Heal the world, make it a better place. Anyway, love y'all. Bye.